What's going on guys? Cassie from Jeep Gear and Gadgets and it is a super nice day out which reminds me that summer is coming up which means camping trips, wheeling trips, cruising on the beach, doors off, tops off. Pretty much the best part about owning a Jeep, a lot of the cool things happen in the summer. It's my favorite season to have a Jeep. So today I'm going to talk about some of the things we're doing to kind of get the Jeep ready for summer. We got some half doors going on, another product that is going to make your life easier in the long run, and I have a three-in-one cooler. It's literally the most versatile cooler I've ever seen. It's different. I think a lot of you are going to like it. So why don't we just dive right on in? I've already started diving in. Oh, he already got one door off. I've been looking for a set of half doors for pretty much ever since I got the Jeep. I got some tube doors last summer, but these we found for $400 on Facebook Marketplace. They're the Mopar half doors and they came with the uppers and the keys. Everything works and except, painted. and it's already painted. It was red. I think that was the most difficult part was finding a red half door. Uh oh. And this leads into number two. So one thing I didn't notice until I had these half doors on is all of the plate over here in the door hinge liners in both the upper and the lower. And because of this, the door does not line up exactly. It makes it really hard to close. And that's because the factory door hinge liners are made out of metal. They are a metal on metal design. This is from Ben's JK. They corrode over time, they deform, and it'll give you one of two problems. It'll either give you play, or it'll make it really difficult to remove your door. So we're gonna be changing them out today with the TMR Customs door hinge liners. Now these are made out of Delrin plastic. It's a hard plastic, which means it's not gonna deform over time. And it's gonna make it an easy transition when taking your door on and off and changing out with your factory doors. And we put a set on Vin's JK yesterday. He's the core door, half door. So why don't we go check those out? <laughs> it's Vin's one moment of fame that he gets on my channel. All right guys. So. I will say I already have the core doors, which are an aluminum half door. So they're already really, really light, but the old hinge liners on the JK were, I think they're worse shape than Cassie's LJ, but look how easy these things just slide right on off. Boop. <laughs> there's no noise. There's Out no in. resistance. I did grease them up and that's a good thing about the Delrin is you can grease it and it just holds it like for a little bit longer. They just they pop, they slide right up. Ben's going to be taking like his doors butter. on and off all day long. <laughs> Here's the same way. Just boop. It's, it, it, it is crazy how much of a difference. Let's see if we just, yep, <laughs> they pop right off. Let's go change out the door hinge liners on the LJ. Now TMR offers two different kits, one with just the door hinge liners and another with the door hinge liners and the removal tool. And you want the removal tool. You want the you, you removal tool. You need it. Definitely get it. Another thing I want to mention is that there are cheaper options out there, like on Amazon and stuff, but I've heard mixed reviews on those. And Ben? Yeah, so the ones on Amazon, I've heard some people, I've never used them, but the machining just isn't 100% correct. And then, you know, you pop them in and then your doors still aren't very smooth. TMR makes really good stuff, high quality off-road parts. So figured these are definitely gonna hold up to time. So these are the ones we are going with. So let's get them in. All we really need for this job is a hammer, some lubricant, whatever you got in your garage and the door hinge removal tool. So why don't we go ahead and get the door popped off? Can you help? <laughs> Curious to see how bad of shape these old door liners are. Pretty much non-existent. <laughs> they're, like they're, they're gone. First thing we're gonna do is spray down the old hinge with some type of penetrant. You're gonna take your removal tool and stick it up underneath. And then you wanna be careful when you're hitting it with your hammer, you can dent your body right here. So I'm gonna put a little piece of cardboard right here. Maybe it might help uh, not hit my Jeep. I might have to have Ben step in. Our door hinge liners are in really bad shape. And also, I have really bad aim. If y'all remember, I did hit my old shocks with a hammer, so I might have to sub yeah. Ben in for this. Yeah, that thing is stuck in there pretty good. Sub in, Ben. All righty. Ben, thank you. <laughs> Save the last hit for me. Ow. That's why you wanted me to do it. Ah, don't hit your thumb either. <laughs> I did not mention that. Finish it off. All right, I get to finish it off. Bling. So let's check it out. This thing is in pretty bad shape. It's corroded, deformed, pretty much everything I mentioned earlier. So now that this liner is out, we are going to grab our flathead screwdriver and just tap our old removal tool out. Simple as that. Now that the old door hinge liner is out, we're going to spray it down with some more lubricant and put the new liner in. I don't even need a hammer. It slides right in. The bottom is gonna be a little more difficult if you have rock rail. So let's see if I can even get this one started. 
literally the whole hinge is moving right now. If I had a brand new Jeep, I would go ahead and replace the factory ones. That way you will never get to this point that we're at trying to get these old nasty metal ones out. This bottom one is really stuck in there. So we're gonna remove the whole door hinge, go put it on the bench and see if we can hammer it out over there. Poor door hinge just got destroyed. I have to touch it up with some touch up paint later. Uh, hopefully the other side is not this difficult. So let's go put this back on and then so we can put the new liner in. The hinge is not in the same place that it was before. We're gonna have to realign the door. So once I get this in, grab the door and see what we're working with. Another thing we went with while we were at this job anyway are some door pin guides. They thread onto the top of each door and it just kind of helps you line your door up better when taking them on and off. So all we're gonna do is thread them on and you're good to go. All right, let's get this door on. So the pin just kind of guides it in. So now since we took the hinge off, we need to mess with it because it's not lined up perfectly for the door to slide on. We got the door lined up and check this out. It closes nice and smooth. There is no movement up and down. It's Zero. on real good. It now let's go tight. knock out the other side. Look how tight. Did you show them there's no movement? No movement. It's moving the whole Jeep. That's so how tight it is. Pull the door off. <laughs> They slide out real nice and smooth. Look, pops right out. And the door pin guide leads it right in. Very nice, let's go do the other side. It is really bright out today, by the way. I don't even think you can probably see my eyes while I'm talking. So we have the door hinge liners in. It would have been an easier job if ours weren't all rusty and disgusting. So I think the key is doing it before you get to that point. Otherwise, it's a fairly simple job. So, all right, so the door pin guy is gonna guide us right in, or most people. Boom, no play. Look, all the play is gone. There is none. The door does not close. That was not supposed to happen. Do we need to adjust it? Yeah, we got to adjust it down and that's probably because the the new liners took up all that slack yeah okay so now we gotta adjust, adjust the hinges just like just we did like on the, the other one. one to adjust them we're just gonna loosen the bottom ones and make the adjustment as we need all right ready right there's good there. all right check her out we got the half doors on and i am a huge fan of what the half doors look like i like the look I like the versatility of them and like the on the spot decision. You can take the uppers off when you're wheeling, throw them on when you want to ride home. Same thing when you're going to the beach and all that good stuff. It's just, it, it gives you so many options on the moment and I'm a terrible planner, but. It just, it, it's a nice feeling too. It is like, the, like when you're wheeling, like you're you can wheeling, pop you out. Can see. I feel like a monster in this Jeep. <laughs> I feel huge. The doors look fantastic. Now. Speaking of summer, on the trails, wheeling, going to the beach, what do you always want? You want a nice ice cold glass of water. No, but we are going to look at the cooler that I have now, the three in one, super cool. I'm excited to share it with you guys. So let's start opening it. Ah, just kidding. It is kind of heavy though. So here we have it, the brand new Iceco JPC 42 cooler. This is a three in one cooler. It's really neat, it's unique. I think you guys are gonna like it. They did reach out to have me review it, talk about it and share it with you guys. It is a Kickstarter campaign, so it's not even for sale yet, but you can get it at a super good price right now. I'm gonna take it out of the Jeep and show you guys what I mean by three in one. Outside, it looks like your typical cooler, right? You have your latches, you have your cup holders, typical cooler layout. But when you open it up on the inside, there is a compressor. So it can turn into a fridge or a freezer. So this cooler can be a normal cooler, throw ice in it for the day, go to the beach, go to your friend's house, go wherever you need to go and you're good. Or you can plug it into your 12 volt outlet and turn it into a fridge or a freezer, depending on what your needs are, which is crazy to me. So it's three in one. So depending on what you're doing, it can depend on what you want to use it for. So let's throw it in the Jeep and kind of show you how it works. We have a full-time fridge in the back of the JT, but that doesn't really fit my needs with this Jeep and it won't even fit in the back of the LJ anyway. So this is a really good versatile option. It's a cooler, as I said, it's a fridge if I want it to be. So if we go camping for a couple nights or I can turn it into a freezer. So it really fits all of my needs depending on what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take out all the wires and the plugs plug it up and just kind of show you guys how it works. It has a normal wall outlet and also comes with 
the 12 volt outlet to plug into your cigarette lighter in your car. Just plugged in. Here's the controls. You have max and eco. You can adjust the temperature. You can also change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And I promise it's not flashing. It's just the LED lights. I think this cooler is going to be really neat. It's versatile. I can kind of use it to what my needs are for whatever trip I'm taking, whether it's going to the beach, going wheeling, going camping. It's really cool. And I think a lot of you guys will like it too. I only, a, downside. only downside. Only downside. The adjustable voltage control. Yes. I forgot to mention that. So on the full-time fridges, there's a low voltage cutoff and you can change that. Um, so the fridge will pretty much keep running until whatever you program it at. You don't want to completely kill your battery, but you want the fridge to keep running. At that point, it would shut the fridge off. This does not have an adjustable low voltage cutoff. So anytime your Jeep is off, it's only going to keep going for like another two minutes. So this cooler, it doesn't have all the features of a full-time fridge, but it's you a know, good option. You I'll have, have to... ice in there whenever you're driving, it's going to be cooling it. So I'll... it's a mix of both. Who am I looking at? <laughs> I'll have to plug it in while I'm wheeling or to and from wherever we're going to like kind of make up for not it not having that adjustable voltage control. I'm going to have to call it for this video, guys. I have a conference call in literally two minutes. I've got to go upstairs for, but I really wanted to show you the half doors. The door hinge liners, I think will be helpful for a lot of you. And this cooler, it is so versatile. I think it'll fit a lot of your needs as well. It's kind of neat. It's not just a fridge not just a cooler it can be what you need for whatever trip you're going on all of that is going to be in the video description below next time i'll probably be talking about some of the axles the tires actually mounted finally and we got some new stuff up on the front of the jeep as always give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and my name's cassie and keep jeeping classy there's a mosquito on my wrist